Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and welcome to the channel and this is a series ongoing which we are talking about AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. So as mentioned in the last video, it is not possible to actually do the practical of all the particular thing that we are going to discuss because AWS CCP exam is moreover about knowing what is the breadth of services, what is the utilization of each of these services. So some of them we just need to barely touch and move on and this is exactly what we'll be doing. There is no such as a target for the comments in this video. Uh, this is just totally on you. If you really enjoy watching this video, please do spare some time and at least just drop a hi in the comments. It's really appreciable. So this video is comparatively going to be shorter one. Let me share the screen and we are going to discuss about the two basic service. I think the best way to actually touch upon them is directly in the AWS console so that you can know where they are available and can read a little bit directly from there. So the first service, all you have to do for this one is, this is also in the part of compute service, all you have to do is look for the batch. Yes, there is a special batch service, fully managed batch processing at any scale, this is what. And by the way, this is also a compute environment. Uh, what you can do is, if you'll just click on this, uh, this batch service allows you to do or perform operation in batches. It is heavily used in case of video processing that you want to do. You have a video which is in 1080p, you want to have different versions of each videos, in uh, 480, 720 and couple of other versions. This is one such uh, definition that you can use. <clears throat> Again, just like what we saw in the ECS, uh, you have to first provide uh, the job definition, what you really want to do. We will not be creating that uh, because it's not possible in this uh, particular video. Uh, but you have to provide the job definition. Then you have to create the jobs, uh, like what, how many jobs you want to do. And then it will show you everything what's happening in the job queues. And you can also select your compute environment like I want this kind of a machine or what kind of machine. That's totally up to you. You can choose as much as you like. So just keep in mind there is a batch service which allows you to do a lot of things in the batch. If you want to do something on a bigger scale which takes a lot of time, you can actually create the batches for that and you can just go ahead and do, the, do for that. Uh, you don't need to do any of that. As of now, if you wish, you can just go on to the homepage of this in the docs and can read some of the FAQs about it. Uh, but for the exam perspective, that's all you need to do. If something needs to be done together in the batch, there is a batch service. Uh, the next one uh, that we are going to talk about as a compute service is known as light sale. Uh, this is a pretty interesting one. Uh, some, it's almost all the exams actually go ahead and ask you about that. So what is this light sale? Uh, the whole purpose behind creating the light sale as a service is there are so many people who want to use AWS but don't have that much of technical skills or expertise to use the AWS, like their VPCs, how they are being configured and AZs and whatnot. For those people, light sale is almost like uh, taking an, a VPC or something like from what you take from uh, GoDaddy or Bluehost or all these services. So let me show you what this is actually all about. So in this, if I just go ahead and create an instance, yes, you get your computer, yes, you get your ECT, AC2 machine, but this is in different format. You can actually get it pre-built by hosting a Linux on it or maybe a Windows on it. And if you want just an OS, yes, you can go ahead and do that. But most of the people actually prefer this service for app plus OS. You actually by default install a WordPress or a WordPress multi-site or a LAMP stack or a Node stack or maybe a cPanel if you want to do some uh, old school stuff or maybe a Django stuff, something like that. So people don't require high-end technical skills for that and can use it just like they were accustomed to use them in the other uh, service providers like GoDaddy, Bluehost and whatnot. Uh, this is what is being loved and in the exam it is mostly being asked that if I don't have high-end technical expertise of the cloud, is there any service for me? Yes, there is a service for you uh, which is known as LightSale and it is actually pretty cheap. <laughs> we actually use a couple of them. So as you can see, uh, $3.5 per, uh, per month to $5 per month, $10 is actually pretty... I would say great, great offering there. You get 1.5 TB of transfer, and that's too much. Uh, two virtual CPU, two GB of RAM, and 60 GB of SSDs. I think that's a pretty good, pretty steel deal, <laughs> if you ask me honestly. Uh, this is where the pricing comes up. And by the way, you can actually go ahead and change the memory if you want 32 GB of memories and all of that. So obviously the pricing changes on that. Uh, you, can, you can try this out. So this is all mostly about it. You can go ahead and read more docs about it, billings and AWS and settings and whatnot, but this is all what we have. Uh, yes, this panel looks a little bit like it was crafted in a hurry and it doesn't look like a part of AWS. As you can see, this is almost like a totally different light sale. Um, I'm pretty sure that used to be a service that they have bought or something. <laughs> they have bought a lot of things, AWS guys. 
Uh, but this is all. I think this is all what we have covered. I think almost all the compute services that are being asked in the exam, we have covered almost all of them. And this actually sets up, hey, we are done with the compute services. Uh, if there is any more, I'll definitely add the videos. But this marks as a done for our section for the compute services. And now let's go ahead and move on to the next type of services that are being asked in the exam. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next video.